Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at an ultra, ultra lightweight rear living room travel trailer. This is the 2021 Coachman Apex model 293 RLDS. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews, Tobles. It's the world's only channel giving you the true and biased review about everything when it comes to travel trailers, fifth wheels, and toy haulers. And again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at this travel trailer from Coachman the Apex. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey, Will. Hey, guys. How's it going? Pretty good. We're still here in Ohio and super excited about this Apex. The cool thing with it is um, really like how much you're getting while still keeping that weight really low. Yes. So, you know, I yes. think you guys are going to like it, especially, you know, if you don't have a huge truck to tow with. Correct. This gives you the absolute most amount of space while still trying to keep it lightweight. Let's begin. Model is 293 RLDS, but the actual tip to tip length of this travel trailer is 33 feet 11 inches. The dry weight is only 6,602 pounds, and well, the hitch weight 832 pounds. Awesome, again, very lightweight travel trailer for how big and long it is. Right up here, we do have a nice power tongue jack. Oh, and it doesn't matter how light it is, you always want to make sure you get weight distribution bars. You do have a nice power tongue jack by Lipper Component. Two 20 pound propane tanks here. You can upgrade it to 30 pounds. And right here, two batteries goes here. And then check this out. It's a molded fiberglass front cap. I love the windshield up here. Very nice. You got the LED light strips right here. And this is your black diamond plate rock guard. Coming down the side, we do have pasture storage that goes all the way through. We just could not find the key for it. But what I do like is that it is held up by a magnet. Coming down, oh, solar does go right there. Coming down the side here, you do have a nice, huge power awning with LED lights. Because this is a Coachman, they use the Astell sidewall composite, which is a green-based material that will never delaminate on you. And right here, we do have Lipper component solid steps. Also, they do have heated and closed underbelly uh, for underneath. That's a tanks, not underbelly. Oh. I don't know if the underbelly is actually heated on these. Good call, Will. Good call. It's just the tanks. Perfect. Right over here, we do have... Oh, look at these tires, Will. They're the Castle Rocks. I love those. ST205-75R14. You do have the Dexter axles there. Power on the outside right here. Okay. And then, look at this. We have a nice little entertainment center. Would you look at that? TV on the outside. It looks it, nice. It looks nice little refrigerator and this is a nice little brittle coleman Ooh. stove top right there not bad at all not bad at all very nice then it's a top that i can actually reach and then right here is an outdoor shower and i love this if you need to rinse off any of your pots and pans and anything you just get it right there Coming around the back, we do have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky. Uh, it's not for towing. You do have a prep for a backup camera right there. No ladder to get up on the roof. No big deal. Ultra lightweight travel trailer. And right there, you can see it's uh, stabilizing jacks. It is manual jacks. Finishing up. Over here. This is where you dump your black and gray tanks. I love that. That's Very nice. easy and nice to get to. Uh, 30... No, 50 amp. Wow. There, there, I'm telling you, there is only going to be one AC unit on this. It will be prepped for two. 50 amp power cord right there, cable hookup and everything. Water heater. Here's your black tank flush. I love how that's orange so there's no confusion. And then there's your city water connection. And then here's your potable water fill. Potable, potable. The sides locks as well. Well, Will, the outside of this travel trailer looks great. But once you see how big and spacious it is on the inside, you guys are going to fall in love with it. Let's go take a look. All right. Check it out.
All right, we'll start up front with the bedroom. All right here. Bathroom right here. The kitchen and dining area. And then the living area in the back. Check this out. Well, we will start back here in the living room area. Again, is this the biggest and most spacious? No, but for it to have the double opposing slide outs and still be so lightweight, that is amazing. That is. We have windows all the way around. Nice trifold sofa right here. It does come out to make a bed. And then here and here we have a little bit of storage above. Now over here, we do have some theater seats. Okay. We got your cup holders right there. Very nice. Okay, recliner theater seats. And again, windows all around. Like right now, it does feel a little dark in here. It does, but all but the windows I just are closed. feel like, yeah, once we get them all open, it will definitely, already I can see that it's getting lighter and yep. brighter in here and everything. And then across from my theater seats, I love this. I have a direct view of this television right here. TV right here, sound bar, everything. You kind of have like a little mantle with a fireplace. Very nice. And what's nice about that fireplace is it does produce heat, so you're not burning through propane to heat up this uh, travel trailer. You guys could see well here, yep. he is six foot three. And you still have what? Three inches above your head? Four inches? Three or four, yep. Yeah, not bad. not bad. Not bad. Again, ultra lightweight and everything. Look at this light fixture, Will. That light fixture is very. All right, that go. No. No? Oh, okay. So over here at the dinette, interesting dinette. We do have a little bit of storage below. Okay. Storage below. This dinette does drop down to make a bed. Again, all four windows around the sides. Really making it bright in here. And everything. Well, well, it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, burr, burr. <clears throat> oh, I forgot to mention. Look on the side of that sofa there. We do have power plugs and USBs. MSRP on this travel trailer here is $42,333 MSRP. Sale price, as you can see right here, because it's a 2021, we cannot advertise sale price, but will. I know we'll get everybody in America a phenomenal sale price. That's right. By just doing this, just go to mattsrvreviews.com. We do have a link down in the description below. Click the contact me tab and fill out one of the three sections that works best for you. If you're ready to buy this or any RV, click that first tab, fill out that form. You'll get $500 mailed to you for map cash to use either online or at the store at any general RV. If you're close to buying and you want to compare this unit against another unit, click that second tab. Let us know what you want to do, and me or Will, we will either call you, text you, email you, or FaceTime you, whatever works best for you. And then option three, if you're not ready to buy at all, no big deal, fill out that third option. We do answer every email, we just don't do it immediately, okay? We gotta take priorities, but we promise we'll get back to everybody. Um, and Will, it doesn't matter where you are in the buying process, what's the one thing that they all have in common? We're gonna get them the best price in America. Beep, 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 beep. Awesome, Will? Let's continue the video. All right. All right, so we'll start over here with the fridge. Yes. Nice two-way Dometic refrigerator, gas or electric. Yep. Very fridge nice. right there. We've got a little bit of storage up top here. Yes, sir. With a nice hood range there. Hood range. And, uh -oh. and a nice little window there. Yep, window on the campsite. I do like that. I do like that a lot. All right, three burner cooktop Magic made by Chef. Magic Chef. Uh huh. And oh, with this little Ooh, oh. Oh. there Ooh. we go. And oven. Very nice. Over here we have a graystone microwave. Okay. A little bit of countertop space there. Yep. A nice backsplash. I'm yep. sure you continued all the way, but they definitely should have. Yeah, because it's very nice. And a couple drawers here. Yes, sir. A little bit of storage here and there. and there oh i missed this one very oh, nice some pans down there yep now for a travel trailer this size i love that it has this nice big island here. yes sir so and i forgot to mention no solid surface again ultra ultra lightweight yeah yep it's a weight thing 
Um, nice two bowl sink with a good little faucet here. That's a nice looking faucet. That is. That faucet looks nice. We do have some power on either side of the island. And then there is a little bit of storage underneath. Yep, right here and here. Very nice. Yep. And then, well, let's say you need a little bit more countertop space or a place to put a coffee pot. Where could you put that? Oh, right here? Yes, sir. And there is um, a little bit of storage here as well. Oh, I didn't and even see that. Opener. Hell yeah, that's for beer, Will. That's right, because we're America. We're America. <laughs> we're in America. So we know we are say. America. <laughs> All right, a little more storage here. Yes, sir. Like Matt said, good little counter for coffee pot. You have a plug there. Yep. And then just like a little shelf or whatever down there. Absolutely. So then we do have a coat hanger right there. Yep. And then, well, it's now time for the tall test. All right. For those of you who don't know, Sir William Henry Harrison is six foot three. Oh. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. Not doing it. Nope. Now. It is very overall it's just a small shower small shower it does not pass the tall test but no. it's okay because again it's ultra ultra light we do have a medicine cabinet right here very nice little sink right there and then well it's now time for the toilet test all right it looks like a plastic toilet probably it is i'm not mad because it is ultra ultra lightweight and here's what's sad it would have passed the prime pooping position. I'm comfortable. I have plenty of space. But it didn't, because he didn't put porcelain in it. But again, ultra, ultra lightweight, not a big deal. I'm, I'm not mad at it. Great, oh, you hold that. And then finishing up, we are in the bedroom here. You want to stand right there, Will? Okay. Let me show this area here. Pretty all right storage. Yeah. But I can tell that's probably why the shower was exactly. a little bit small. Nope, a little, little bit more there. right there. And that little cubby there. Yep. We have this is where you put your TV there. And then we have nice storage all the way around. If you want to show, show your side. sides. Yep. Same thing on the other side. Just flipped. Queen size bed. Okay. And then we do have some uh, things on both sides. You know. Uh, and then right there is that nice, beautiful windshield for you to see a view and everything. And then do we have storage underneath the bed? We sure, sure do. do. Yes, sir. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. That's short and sweet. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we like. Okay. Um. So, I'm going to go off and say hmm, the living area. Okay. You know? No, I'm not gonna say the living area. Cause you know why we always say the living area. Here's okay. what I'm gonna say. The double opposing slide outs yeah. in a light, light, lightweight travel trailer. That's just super awesome. The way they accomplished this is very cool and impressive. And I really, really do like that. Yep. So that's one. Two. So mine's gonna kind of piggyback off of yours because I love this kitchen island. Uh, yeah. It's a nice big island. Yep. You don't see it very much in travel trailers, yep. especially at this weight. Absolutely. So really, you know, it just, I mean, look at all the counter space you have because of it, you know? Yep. It's great. For sure. And then I'm going to say, I really do like the outside kitchen and I'm going to combo it with the Asdale sidewall composite that Coachman uses. Definitely. Uh, it's just, it's just nice and again just really nice classic design this is for that person who wants something a little nicer that doesn't want to spend the money or they can't transport the weight you know it's a good compromise that's right well well that's three things we love about it now it's time for three things we hate about this travel trailer bum 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 ready for me to go first yep i do not like this this bowl is right it here. Pokes out. Yep. Not a fan of that. Not a big fan. And it's I because of the outside kitchen, but I know. But still, I agree. It's just weird. It's, it's just awkward weird. looking. It's exactly. Exactly. So that's one, two. Okay, mine's right here with the kitchen. Wait, no, that was your like. No. <laughs> um, I don't uh, know why they didn't continue that up. It would have been like how much more did it cost you? Fifty cents. <laughs> right. 
Yep, and it would have looked a it lot better. Looked so nice. It would have looked more here. Would have looked more finished. Up. Yep. yep. No, nope. it looks like they took the scraps of something else and were like, all right, just yep. that up there. Yep, that's literally what it looks like. So that's two. And then number three, I hate carpet in a travel trailer, especially under the dinette. Because yeah. me, I'm gonna have a tater top full of ketchup and I'm gonna drop it and it's gonna stain the carpet. That's right. Not a fan. But that's it, that's the review. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. In a few seconds, if you're in the market for a travel trailer like this, you're gonna see the competition to this model uh, right here in another video that I think you should check out. If you guys have any questions about this RV, please contact us by going to mattsrvreviews.com. Links are in the description below. Fill out whatever bucket works best for you and will. It doesn't matter where you are in the buying process, we're here to help you and we're here to help get you Best price in America. Will, do you have anything you want to say? So they're not squares anymore? They're buckets? Yeah, they're Bucket squares. Chicken? Nah, but <laughs> squares, squares. Um, all right, yeah. So thanks, guys. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Hope you guys liked it. Make sure to leave in the comments below three things you liked and didn't like. And um, check us out on Club Art Deco if yes. you're not there on Facebook. It's a yes. great way to just interact with us and, you know, be our friends on Facebook, basically. Perfect. So. I love it. We'll catch you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for checking out. Make sure you check out another video. And we'll, we'll see you next time. Bye.